for you to be here. You stand by us. In our time, once again, of pain and suffering. There's a poem in Sindhi. Yazidi Vashatu Sagyu, Uwai Dashatu Sagyu. Varihi Sogajo Alam, Nau Aj Kaumalai Matam. Vari Kiya Ojana Aj, Vari Kudar Kusana Aj, Asa Dharti Dhananja, Vari Lasha Khajana Aj. The cruelties and brutality, brutalities remain the same. It's the time of mourn for all of us. The candles of light are blown. Our beloved are killed today. And we are taking their bodies on our shoulders. On 21st, they not only killed two people, and it was simple for them in Pakistan to kill anybody for the agency is not a problem. They would have shot them dead, but they didn't stop there. They burned their bodies. To the extent that they weren't recognizable. If they just wanted to kill them, they would have killed them. So why, 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 why they wanted to do this? And they have done the same in Balochistan. They kill people. They take their eyes out. They put the saw through their brains, why? The reason is that they want to send a wave of terror and fear among the people who want their human, basic human rights. <coughs> and the right to self-determination is a basic, inalienable, undeniable, unconditional right. And they want to send a wave of terror and fear. And how Sindhi people responded? On 23rd March, there was a freedom march. It was expected that 100,000 people will come, 200,000 people will come. No. Sindhi people weren't terrorized. They came as a minimum, most conservative, they came there, a million Sindhi people. The question is, it is our duty when somebody gives it, ultimate sacrifice, sacrifice of their life for their motherland to remember them, to take their case, to mourn them. The most important question remains, as I've already said, this will be not the last martyrdom. Pakistan currently is the most fascist state in the world. They are ready to do anything and everything that would keep their control on our lands, on our sovereignty. The question is for us that how we respond to that fascism and to that terror. How far we have 
been successful and what are our weaknesses and what are our strengths and how the most important thing because of course we will ask the international community and we have been asking the, asking the international community for years to investigate this. and the international community know this they know but the will to action will only come from our action from our will to act and from our strength and from our determination and from our strategy and from our wisdom and from our unity history has not left any two options either to survive as proud sindhi and baloch nations or to perish under the pressure and terror of pakistan's fascist state that is the decision that we have to make i'll finish my speech rok je roke saki sada ki had nine je ve tode saki stop if you can stop voice don't have bones that you can break voice don't have bones that you can break aao jo awaaz aaya zindagi jo raaz aaya tho wanya ma dur tai mor je more sagi i'm the voice i'm the mystery of life i'm flying to the infinities bend me if you can bend let me let me again make this promise to our motherland and to our martyrs that we will not allow their blood to go in vain we will unite we'll make a strategy we'll fight on all fronts until the day will come when the lights and the happiness will come for our people and thank you once again